the way. Uh, if you want to test the kind of cancer it is, then you send it to the lab, okay, and they do the testing for you. Uh. Okay, the fact that it's not growing bigger is actually a good sign. Okay, it means that it's not as aggressive. Okay, at the end of the day, we still need to test first before we can tell you what grade it is. Okay. okay. Uh, it's not uh, infection because when you press on it, it's uh, not really softish. Okay, so it's made of soft tissue. Second. Okay, so that uh, is an indication that it's cancer. Mm. Huh? Okay, so um, do you want to remove it? Remove the whole toe better, I think. Uh, this is what we can do. Okay, the reason why he says that is because uh, sometimes cancer, okay, they spread. call it spread uh, locally. Okay, what it means is just that it invades the other tissues. Okay, so it invades the ligament, it invades the bone, it invades everywhere else. Okay, so um, at the end of the day, okay. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Poor fellow, why? Eh? Why bite me? Eh? He at least when touch his like extremities, he doesn't really like it. Mm, okay. Okay, so at the end of the day, okay, if you just want to take out the, the lump, okay, you just run the risk of reoccurrence, but this is dependent on the type of cancer it is and dependent on how aggressive it is. Okay, so it really depends. Okay, uh, if you want to remove the toe, that one is a big operation. Okay, they call it amputation. Okay. Uh, the risk of reoccurrence obviously much lower because you're taking out more tissue, okay? But at the end of the day, uh, it's up to you, okay? Because if it comes back again, then we might have to remove it again, okay? okay? Uh, the other thing that you have to consider is um, because it's a skin cancer, okay? It might have spread to other areas of the skin, it just hasn't come out yet. Okay, it spreads in the bloodstream. Okay, so if let's say uh, that has already happened, then you might see other lumps on the other areas. Oh, any okay. prevention? Uh, usually, same as in humans, okay, it's removal plus chemo. Okay, they have chemo for dogs. Okay, uh, it's a slightly more involved process. Okay, you need to go for a few sessions and then they will run the drugs through the dog. Okay, uh, usually when we send you off for testing, if let's say that they say that the margins are adequate, meaning that we have taken off enough. Okay, it's up to you whether you send for chemo because in that case, if let's say we took off everything already, <coughs> unlikely to come back. Mm. Okay, the last thing you have to consider is just that it's ten years old, so there's definitely anesthetic risk involved. Okay, so if you want to be uh, very safe, then we take a blood test first. We check the kidney and liver. Okay, make sure that it's okay for anesthesia. Then we do the, the, the operation. Uh. Mm. Okay, so that's the safest. Uh. Okay, so it's very high chance. It is